In this video, I'll show you how to generate consistent photorealistic AI faces without the usual noise. We'll test five powerful methods using the best tools available, Midjourney V7, Runway Gen 4, Flux, Mystic, and ChatGPT. Let's get straight into it. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. The first method we'll test today for generating consistent faces and characters is using ChatGPT. To be honest, if it weren't for the recent updates over the past few months, I probably wouldn't include it here at all. But what OpenAI did recently completely changed the game. They made it possible to get surprisingly strong results, without any complex tools or coding. Let's start by writing a prompt, asking for a character that looks consistent, epic, and cinematic. Something like a main hero straight out of a game cover. We hit generate and wait. Hmm, I don't know what you think, but for me this doesn't resemble the reference image at all. In this case, the reference is a photo of me. Let's ask ChatGPT to refine the output and make it more consistent with the original face. Let's see what happens. And yep, as you can see, the result really isn't much better. The image quality dropped, the contrast is strange, and it just doesn't hit the mark. Let's try a rescue operation on the original image using the Insight Face plugin, which I run through Discord. It's a tool that helps enhance or recover facial structure, especially fixing the eyes and mouth. The first few generations are free, so definitely give it a try. I'll drop a link in the comments. We upload our source image to extract the facial reference and the one we want to apply it to, then hit generate. Nothing revolutionary though, the face is still different enough that achieving full likeness is tricky. Let's try a different test. I'll ask ChatGPT to recreate my character in a realistic environment, keeping the same look and feel as the original. Yeah, the result still isn't there. GPT essentially created an entirely new person. The face shape doesn't resemble mine at all, and that's the biggest weakness of this method. It doesn't analyze facial data in a deep way, it just matches pixels roughly. Now let's switch the style to something different, say a 3D animated version of my face. And now, we're talking. This looks a lot better. In this case, ChatGPT preserved my character and changed only the art style. I think this is where GPT really shines. Style transfers are its strongest use case. One last test. I used a fairly advanced portrait-based prompt. I'll drop the link to it in the comments. Okay, the eyes and lips didn't go in the right direction at all, but the overall image looks cool and I can see the potential. Let's run this one through Insight Face. Much better, way more aligned. In a specific style, this works. You can tell it's loosely based on me, but the image still isn't very sharp. That's where Topaz Lab's Gigapixel comes in. I like using the high fidelity setting for sharp upscale without ruining the original art. Alongside Video AI, it's one of the most important tools I use. And now, this looks great. Clean, clear, and stylistically refined. Now let's move on to Midjourney, using the new Omni Reference feature in version 7. As you can see, I've prepared a list of well-tested prompts. The link is in the comments if you want to grab them. I'll choose one and begin tweaking the settings. These are my default settings for this workflow, but I encourage you to experiment. Let's generate with one of the prompts. Not bad. Stylistically, it's on point. It looks really nice. But the face isn't quite right. Still room for improvement. Let's take another prompt, and this time increase the Omni Reference slider. There we go. Much better. Still not identical to the original reference image, but definitely closer. Trying again with a third prompt back to earlier settings. Better. Let me regenerate once more. After a few more tries, I've got one that I think is solid in both style and likeness. Time to upscale with Gigapixel and then prep it for the next phase. Let's run this one through Inside Face. Now that looks almost exactly like me. Well, maybe a slightly skinnier version of me, which isn't a bad goal for the next few months. Next, I'll upscale again using Gigapixel. This is something I now do for every graphic I generate. It boosts quality a lot. Now we're really getting there. I'll also do a quick Photoshop polish. Enhance sharpness and add natural texture. Final result, really strong. Midjourney's main strength here is in generating natural face shapes. Version 7 is especially good at that. Downsides, sometimes the faces just miss the mark and you'll have to do multiple attempts. But since MJ is unlimited and renders are quick, I recommend experimenting. And when combined with Insight Face and Gigapixel, the results go well beyond what ChatGPT alone can offer. Time to explore a newer approach using Runway Gen 4. 
a powerful tool for compositing multiple references. Here you can input several visual references, people, objects, scenes, etc. A cool trick is to build a rough compositional brief in Photoshop. I'll place my character in the center, a car on the left, and a forest emerging on the right. Let's see how the model handles this layout. I upload all the images in sequence. The prompt is critical here. For Runway Gen 4, simple and literal prompts work best. I'll go with Use Image 1 for the character, blend it with Composition from Image 2, and include the car from Image 3. This kind of structure gives consistently great results. And yep, it worked! Probably the most accurate face plus scene combo we've had so far. To boost it even further, I'll do an upscale in Gigapixel, followed by a quick Photoshop pass. There we go. You could now easily change the art style directly in Runway or ChatGPT to suit your creative goals. One of the final workflows, and the best for perfect face consistency, involves training a model using a full set of your own reference photos. I'll do this in FreePic, but you can also use local models like Flux or Mystic. In FreePic's interface, you can create a new custom character model. I already have one, but I'll add more images to refine it. Around 12-13 images are recommended, but the more the better, ideally 20 plus shots from different angles. Click generate and let the model train. While it's training, I'll prep my prompt list in ChatGPT using a custom GPT called Flux Prompter. I'll ask it to keep character tags open so I can easily drop my model's name in each prompt. Done. Time to start generating with Flux 1.0 and test the results. Make sure you tag the character correctly, just like I'm doing. The outputs? Almost photo level consistency. It recreates my face like it's merging past selfies into new art. Face shape, hair, all spot on. You can even control how dominant the character likeness should be in the output. Freepik's composition mode is also handy. I'll use the landscape template this time. The result? Interesting. Not what I expected, but still solid. This is hands down the best method for realism. The only downside to Flux is the repetition of style. It has a very specific aesthetic. I can spot a Flux render from a mile away. If we could blend Midjourney's rich style with Flux's facial accuracy, we'd have the perfect AI generator. Last test, we'll try the Mystic model, also available inside Freepik. It's a newer version, so I'm curious. I'll pull a prompt from our Flux prompter list. Visually, a level above Flux in my opinion. The aesthetic is cleaner. Let's run it through Insight Face, then upscale in Gigapixel as usual. Now we're talking. The final result looks incredible. Definitely a strong alternative to Flux. Each method has its strengths, from ChatGPT's style transfers, to Midjourney's cinematic detail, to Flux's insane accuracy. And when you combine them with tools like Insight Face and Gigapixel, the results can look truly professional. Try them out, mix your workflows, and let AI elevate your creative process. I'll see you in the next one.